Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Crazy Bone video. And today, as you can see, we've got lots and lots of Disney products. That's right, we've got some Disney Go-Go's Crazy Bones. They paired up with Disney. It actually did happen. It's pretty crazy. And these things are kind of hard to find, uh, depending on which country you get them from. They're, I guess, even more rare in the U.S. Uh, this one, I believe, is from Brazil or Portugal or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I always get my information wrong. The Philippines? I know I purchased this one from the Philippines and, like, all the rest of these, uh, these, like, crazy big booster series ones that have a few of them in there and these are pretty cool i've been excited to open these up for quite some time they've got a lot of cool figures let's see them let's check them out depending on what region and what country you were from you did get some different characters so there is a little bit of variation in this one we still got some classic figures we got olaf we got mike of course we got some of the disney princesses the mickey the mini classic mickey regular mickey and yeah, Retro Mickey, I guess you could say for that one. Very, very cool. Fantasia Mickey, very awesome looking. And of course, we're gonna be looking for these, the Minnie and Mickey gold figures. Now I already got the Retro Minnie Mouse in gold, which is pretty awesome. I got this because when I ordered all these bigger packs, a bunch of them came back, as you can see, busted open, kind of destroyed, and uh, yeah, the eBay seller hooked me up, gave me a bunch more, and then he sent me one of the loose gold retro mini Mouses, which was really awesome, so I've already got one of them, but we're gonna hunt for the retro Mickey Mouse. Oh, oh, and they're falling. Yep, that makes sense, yep. But as you can see, I've got these all like crazy busted open packs, which is unfortunate, but you can kind of see, you know, how these characters somewhat look. We're gonna go into them in more detail once we start opening these things. In addition to these blister packs that I got, these are more of the official Disney Go-Go's. Right here in these smaller packs, we've got the Wikis, which I don't wanna say it's like the knockoff. It kinda is, they're a little bit different. There's some different characters you can find, uh, but yeah, it's kinda the knockoff. They look like exactly the same. Some of the molds are the same, but some of the detail is not as great. You can find the wikis a little bit easier, but I thought it would still be fun to open these up since I do have a bunch of them still. And then along with that, I've got a couple of the official Disney Go-Go's blister packs themselves, like the blind packs, I guess you could say. This one's got a single character in it, another single character, and this one has Two? No, this one only has one as well, but these are a little bit different series too. You can see this one is series two. Got some Goofy, got some Buzz Lightyear, some really cool stuff. I believe this one you can find like Jack Skeleton in there, which would be amazing because I would love to get him in this one. So let's start with these wikis because I kind of want to get them out of the way and actually have something to compare to the actual product. So let's open these up, see what we can find and see how these look. I mean, I know some people will say the quality is a little different, but honestly, like, this doesn't look half bad, honestly. Crazy little the teapot from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, is there a sticker in there? I think I just threw away the sticker. <laughs> All right, let's 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 make sure we get the sticker out. All right, we got a sticker here. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Very cool. And it's got Marie on there. And let's see who we got. Do you actually get the sticker for the one you get? That would be insane, actually. The never-before-seen Gogo's Crazy Bone feature of actually getting the sticker of the character you pull. I don't know, it might have just been a uh, circumstance. I guess we'll have to see. I'm gonna keep some of the wikis over here so we can compare them to like the more official product. All right, let's open another one. I just ripped the Lilo sticker, a bummer. Oops, gotta be careful, but we did get Lilo. So interesting that we're actually getting the sticker with the character we're getting. All right, we actually have a Lilo sitting right here. So let's compare a little bit. This one came out of the official, this one came out of the wiki. So you can see the paint job is slightly worse on the wikis, as you can tell. A little bit cleaner on the more official Disney Go-Go's product. But still, very, very, very similar, which is crazy. All right, we got this goofy boy here. Is this the Mulan Dragon? I think it is, right? I think it is. Yeah, Mushu, yeah. Wow, I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> Some of these get a little goofy, as you'll see. <laughs> Namely, like, the ones from Cars get a little derpy, so we'll have to take a closer look at those. Next one, let's go, come on. We've got, ooh, yes. Let's go. A nice Daffy Duck. Donald Duck, what am I saying? <laughs> Donald Duck, and I can already tell this one does look a little bit not as great. Still, hard to tell. It is actually pretty hard to tell with these wikis. 
Next one, it looks like we got Mike. Yes, awesome. I would love to see the comparison on him because he looks amazing. He just looks like he should be a crazy bone. Nope, there we go. Let's see what we got in here. What did we get? Oh, we got one of the cars. All right, he doesn't look that bad, I'll be honest. So Mac, I don't think I ever watched the car movies. So we got like the semi truck front. Mac, he doesn't look terrible. His eyes maybe could be a little bit whiter. Next one, let's see. All right, we got Marie again. I'm just gonna start blazing through these a little bit quicker. As you can tell, the series isn't a big series. So we will see a lot of duplicates, but we got the Cheshire Cats. From Alice in Wonderland, wonderful. Granskaske, what? Oh, is that just Cheshire or something in a different language? Might be. Whoop, next one, we've got another car guy and yeah, look at, <laughs> okay, he's goofy. Luigi, and there he is, look at that. Uh, yeah, all right, we'll have to compare. Next up, let's go. All right, we got, oh, we got Jack-Jack from The Incredibles, very nice, very nice. It's got a weird mold behind. I wonder if the molds are gonna have the same weird like backing to them. Very interesting. All right, next one. We got this dragon guy. I don't remember what he's from, honestly. What is even his name, Figment? What is he from, guys? I can't remember. It's an old school one, isn't it? All right, we only got a few more of the wikis, so let's get these out of the way. We got Belle. All right, very nice. Let's check her out. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. See, a little faded on the paint job, I feel like it, it's been a little fit. It could be just, you know, how long they've been in the packaging, too, though. Whoop, there we go. Bang, there is the goofball figment boy again. I feel like that might be not his actual name. I don't know. Next one. Let's see. I don't even know if you can get gold characters in these wikis ones, but what is... Oh, he's from Alice in Wonderland, too, isn't he? I forget his name, though. Oh, well. All right, that was the last one of the wikis, so now let's jump into more of these official products. And for these things, some of them did feel a little tampered with. It, it almost felt like the glue had been resealed a little bit on some. Like, this one looks pretty good, but I know others uh, were a little bit weird. So I had my suspicions about them, like maybe someone popped them open to see if they could find gold and resealed on some of these. So might have got ripped off on a few, but still looking forward to opening them. Which is why I'm going to save the blister packs to the end, because those do not look tampered with whatsoever. All right, let's pull out these guys. We got a nice Peter Pan, there we go. What else we got in here? Is this Phineas and Ferb guy, right? Yeah, I believe so. And then we got a nice Simba, bang. See, look at that, look at that. It's it's taped, guys. Now, I don't know if maybe they just taped it because it was coming apart because the, you know, it's old and the glue is maybe just coming apart, I'm not sure, but either way, it's like kind of sketch, kind of sketch. Oh, look at that boy. Look at that good boy. Very nice. Very, very nice Pluto. And then we got the figment dude again. What we got? There we go. Very nice from Little Mermaid. Very cool. All right, we got a Donald Duck on top. So let's see what else is in here. The big reveal. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got Donald Duck. We got a bell and we got a Minnie Mouse. Very nice. The Minnie Mouse looks... A little shoddy paint job, but still looks pretty cool. I guess this bell, wow, let's compare these bells really quick, because this is pretty, pretty similar. Let's take a look there. Can you tell? All right, so see, the Disney ones are, <laughs> so they made her a little bit more plump in the Wixies, <laughs> Wikis ones, uh, and she's like a little bit more skinny in this one. Let's take a look at the back. There's the big difference right there. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, so you can see the classic Magic Box Toys Go-Go's Crazy Bones symbol and little stamp of approval on the backs there. And they just sliced right off the wikis. So that's how you know the big difference right there. All right, let's get Olaf out here, shall we? This one was taped a little bit. Yeah, this one is, see that tape? Oh man, I feel like they snooped around in these packs, you know? I really do, all right. Let's get it off. Ugh, let's see. The true test will see if we can actually like find a gold in one of these weird ones that have been resealed. But a nice looking Olaf. And then we got Kermate, the Froggy. And oh, Kermit's really, really awesome. We also got the Cars guy, which we've seen before. But again, let's just compare the backs here. Flatter back. This one actually doesn't have like the stamp on it, but you can. I believe they still got it, but it's just down in there or something. I don't know but flatter back on the wikis ones. But Kermit, oh my goodness, Kermit, there we go. Look at you, you look 
You look awesome, man. That's a well done one. I really like him. So if you ever go buying these at a garage sale or wherever, if you're just getting them loose, make sure you're inspecting the back and checking them out, seeing if they're the actual official product. All right, we got another Pluto. He looks pretty good. We'll see if, oh, we didn't pull Pluto from the wiki, so I was gonna compare him. But we can compare him though too. Did they make him fatter? They made his neck a little fatter. Oh, he actually has wings on the wikis ones though. He doesn't have wings on the official, which is interesting. I wonder if he, does he even have wings in the original like cartoon or animation? I'm not sure. And then lastly, we got Sebastian in here again. Very nice. Oh, oh we got a Wally pack. So let's look at Wally. He actually looks really, really good. I like his design. He's got some sharp painting on there. Looks a bit faded on that gray still, but that's okay, that's okay. All right, so we got a Mike and a Retro Mickey, which we need the Retro Mickey in the gold. He's got a little divot in his head. How weird is that? That is bizarre. And then Mike over here looking fresh. Very, very nice. I'll take it. Another Wally. Let's see Wally. I'm just clearing out the whole side over here for me, I guess. It's just how I did it. And this was like a complete repeat. Do you get repeat packs like this? If you get a Wally, do you get a Retro Mickey and a Mike? I don't know, but that's the same thing as the last one. So interesting. Oh, goodness me. Okay, we got Mushu again. He looks a little shoddy. That's okay. And then we got Chip sitting over here. And we got the classic Retro Mickey again. Very nice Chip. Let's compare him to the Wikis. And yep, Fatter Neck fatter neck and does he have the slice in the back he sure does he sure does it looks like the back of a toilet doesn't it it's just like it's a toilet crazy bone all right we're going on this side we're going simba again i don't well simba's gone he just shot off the table that's okay we've already seen him i think we did get the same ones in the simba one which is interesting so we got the phineas and ferb and we got the peter pan again in this one so interesting that they repeat so accurately i guess or predictably with the characters you will receive hmm. well, let's keep going from this side all right oh yes oh oh we got another gold mini mouse oh <laughs> yes let's compare from my old one here because i know this one was a little dinged up um yeah they look about the same in you know cleanliness but that is great Oh, okay, we just need Mickey now. That is awesome. I'm so glad I actually pulled one because, all right, it, it <laughs> kind of solidifies that I got these from at least a somewhat reputable seller that didn't snag all the gold ones out of here and just retape them. We got Mike and we got, what the frick is her name again? Lilo, Lilo. Gold, yes, we struck gold. All right, more gold. Let's see it, let's see it. So I wonder if these are predictably placed. I wonder if you should just go for certain characters on top so you're guaranteed to find like a mini or Mickey retro and then your chances increase to actually find the gold. Don't know how that, if that's how it works, but you know, we got this dude again. And then we've got in here a Sebastian and a Plutioe. There we go, there we go. His eyes are cracking in the paint. Oh, Mike Wazowski, Mike Wazowski. Let's see what you can get for us here. Oh, oh, careful, careful. Let's just take a gander at Mike. A little cracking of the eye on the paint job again. You know, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen again. Oh my gosh. We just got another gold Minnie Mouse. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. And a Lilo, which, you know, we don't really care. We just got a third, a third gold Minnie Mouse. Ah, oh, man. All right. Were they only swiping the Mickey Mouses and just leaving us with all the Minis? I don't know, but... I mean, I'll take it. I'll take any of the golds I can get. Alrighty, we're coming down to the last few of these big blisters. And we will see what we can find. Now, this one felt a little... It is a little taped, I should say. So I'm trying to be careful not to splatter him all over the place. There we go. Figment or whatever. I gotta check the back and see if that's what he's called on the back here. Let's see what we got, though. We got Sebastian and Pluto again. Again, I think those were the same as what we got in the last Figment one, so... Here they are again. Here they are again. Let's see Sebastian and the nice little Pluto. He looks a little bit better with the paint job in the eyes. All right. Now, I'm I'm not keeping track of who actually 
has Minnie and Nikki retro in the packs. This one is like resealed to hell. Look at that. Look at all the tape along the edges here. Completely resealed. I, I want to believe that it's just because of the glue coming apart with age because these do seem the glue doesn't seem to hold very strongly at all again that's how most of my other package was uh destroyed because all the glue just popped because it was so old so i want to say they're trying to be considerate with the glue popping and just taping them but it makes it look sketchy so we'll see we see we'll see we got the peter pan and then we've got phineas and ferb or ferb and a simba there we go. I don't like him at all. He looks really dumb. It's just white and then the face. It looks bad. Why didn't you paint the rest of his body? All right, we got one with Aurora on top. We I don't think we've opened an Aurora yet. So let's see if we get something new in this one. Oh my gosh, this one was taped. Very, very, very taped. Holy crap. Okay. Ooh. All right, let's... Pop her out really quick and have a look at Aurora. She looks kind of derpy. Why didn't you paint the crown a yellow or something? It, it wouldn't have been that hard. You painted the eyes, just paint the crown. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we got a retro Mickey. Oh no, it's, this is just the classic Mickey. Okay, classic Mickey was with the Aurora one and then Kermit the Frog. Good combo, that was a good pack. I do like these ones and we hadn't, no, I don't think that's our first Mickey. All right, we got we got a ret we got a couple retro Mickeys. Yeah, we got three retro Mickeys and one just regular style Mickey. But the retros is the one that has the gold on it. So uh, we've already opened up a few with the retros, which is good. But we need more. But we don't have a lot more. We've only got one more of these blisters, and it is one with tape on it. So yeah. and then we're gonna you know jump into these blister packs, which I'm very excited. For. Oh my. Goodness, how, how did they tape this stupid thing? Oh my gosh, it's so ridiculous. It's just so much tape, so much, so much tape. All right, so we got Mushi. I forget who was in the Mushi one. Let's see if we can finagle this thing out a little bit. All right, there we go. And, oh, okay, so Mushi does have the retro Mickey in it. So maybe Mushi ones are a little bit better to get for the chance uh, to increase to get a gold retro Mickey. And we got a chip with it. Chip's cool. But retro Mickey, we've gotten four of these now. We got unlucky. We didn't find the gold, but we can still keep looking in our packs. Wait, 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 wait. I dropped one. I dropped one on the floor. Hold on. I dropped Simba. And I dropped an Aurora one. All right, so we got an Aurora. But really quick, all these other busted open packs, I kind of want to look at because I didn't move them around. Like, this is Mushi, and we got Chip and Retro Mickey. Kermit with a thank you note on it. And we get the Cars guy, and we get Olaf. All right, Aurora, this is our last one we have. And you get Kermit and the Mickey Mouse. These are all just patterned. Uh, okay, he fell out, but Peter Pan was in this one. And then again, you get Simba and the Phineas and Ferb guy. Okay, this is one we haven't opened actually. It's the Snow White Queen. And you actually get Marie. And you get, wow, just bumping the camera like a motherfucker. You get Snow White. And then you get the, wait, is this the witch from Snow White or is this someone else? I think this is a witch from Snow White. This, yeah, this is the Apple Lady. Yeah, yeah. So you get her and you get Snow White in the same box, it would appear. Kermit again with another thank you note on it. But we get, again, Olaf and the cars. Learning so many new things. All right, again, I didn't move these from when I opened them. I kept them all in the packs they were in. So we got Snow White Queen, and we got Snow White, and we got Marie again. Wow. Kermit into Olaf and the cars guy. Again, stacked, stacked. Kermit, Olaf, cars. Pretty unfortunate. We got Mushu. Guess what's in it? It's a retro Mickey and a chip again that we already know is going to be there. Wow, that is, uh, that's crazy, actually. That's really crazy. So we should have in this one, I forget the second character, but we should have Mickey Mouse. And who else did we get in this one? Kermit, right? We should have Mickey Mouse and Kermit in this one. That is crazy. And then I guess, I, I guess I'll have to see how we got, I'll have to review it and look at how we got the gold Minnie Mouses and which ones those came in. But... 
This one we should open and we should get regular Mickey and we should get Kermit. So let's see. This is the Aurora one. So open it up. And no surprise, it's Mickey and Kermit. So if you're going to get these three blister pack things online, which you can find some of them online from sellers, be cautious, be wary, especially if you're trying to complete a collection. They do have a sequence to them. You can know what's inside these things to a degree. Again, I don't know the chances of how the golds are spaced out yet, and if they're dropped in random ones, or if they are dropped specifically in the retro Mickey spot or the retro Minnie Mouse spot. It could be that way. I'm gonna have to review and see which ones we actually pulled the other Minnie Mouses from. But just a word of caution that these are a little bit stacked. You are gonna wind up with the same figures depending on who that figure is on top. An interesting little development, how weird. But now we can go on to the lovely blister packs. They're just solo dolos. We can get one of each and why don't we open up this one first this is the series we were just on so chances of getting one we already gotten is pretty high but we still have a few chances for something we haven't but of course we just get the nasty looking phineas and ferb guy with a car sticker this time so yeah us packs this is like more of the us packs it's the claro version uh, does not represent the character and sticker, they don't go together. Only the wikis goes in above and beyond to put the sticker with the character you get. So I believe this is series one as well, but it's the Panini one, and there are a few extra characters you can find, namely like Zord, and a couple others that are pretty cool. Again, the Jack Skeleton one, I believe, is in this one. Uh, so let's open this and see what we can get in this one, and then we'll open the series two. So let's see what's in this. There's no full tab on this one, but let's see. Okay, try to hide a little. Oh, we get a bunch of stickers. I'm just gonna keep them in my hand there. We'll go through the stickers. Mr. Incredible, which I be believe is more exclusive to this one. We get the Simba sticker, the little Jack-Jack sticker, or Zizi, and then we get this. Is this like, is this a sticker too, or is this like a stamp, like a tattoo or something? Interesting that's on a different thing. Who did we get, though? We got, oh! We got the guy from Pinocchio. Yes, whatever his name is, I'm, I can't think of who it is, but it's the little cricket, right? That's who it is, it's gotta be, right? It's the little cricket, yeah. All right, so now we've got series two. We can get Elsa in this, we can get Jack Sparrow, uh, we can get, looks like Buzz and Goofy, which, you know, they should've included Goofy in the first one, I think, but it is what it is. But this is our last pack, guys. This is our final one. Let's see if we can pull out something good here. Let's pull out our little stickers first. Oh, Baymax is in this. Very nice. We got the little stupid reindeer from the Frozen series. And we got <laughs> weird cutoff stickers that I guess you can compile and create a scene, but with the actual images. <laughs> That's weird. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, who did we get? Whoa. Is this... Who is it? Is this the monkey from Jungle Book? One of the monkeys from Jungle Book or something? Oh my gosh, of course it's a character like that I can't place and name off the top of my head. It's gotta be, right? But cool little monkey, man. Yeah, very nice. Well, we got quite a bit and quite a bit of doubles as you can see, but we did manage to pull two gold mini mouses, which is awesome. So I'm gonna have to relook at that video footage and see how we actually obtain these and if they were stacked or not. And if you could predict when you'll at least get a retro Minnie Mouse and if it's in the same slot that they'll replace it with a gold Minnie Mouse. Because if that's the case, all you gotta do is find the one that has the retro Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, and just keep buying those and hopefully you get a gold retro Mickey Mouse. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We've got a lot more GoGo's Crazy Bones products that I'll be opening up in the future, so you're not going to want to miss that. But thank you guys for watching all the way through to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we will see you guys in the next one.